Hello, amazing, incredible students and teachers of the Bronx Community College Early Childhood Center. Good day. It is so great to be back here with you. You. I'm so happy to see you and we continue our journey of puppetry. Yes. Okay. Now, we have been talking all about transportation last month and we made some really fun vehicles. We made uh, planes. We made trains. We made automobiles. I made a tractor. We read great books like books about the subway in New York City. We read a book about Yumi and her grandma, and she rode a motorcycle, which was so cool. We read a book about planes. Awesome. Now, today begins a new unit, and that unit is about light. Light, light, yeah. So, I want to ask you a question. What kinds of lights are around us? Hmm. Did somebody say a light bulb? Yes! Wait, I heard somebody way off in the distance say a candle. Very good. And that has what? It has something that's really hot. What's that called? <gasps> yes, fire or a flame. That gives off light. That's right. What else? Hey, good job. A street light, like a lamp that's on the side of a sidewalk that gives light, that comes down. What else? Yes, when you drive a car and you come to a stoplight, there's a red light. That's right. And then what? A green light to go. That's right. And then what's in the middle? A yellow light. That tells you, whoa, the red light's coming. Amazing. What else is there? What's up in the sky that's big and yellow and gives off a lot of heat during the summer. Yep, the sun, that's right. And do you know what the sun is? It's a type of what? Oh, did somebody say star? Yeah, those give off light too. Now, here's what I want you to tell me now. So the sun is a big bright yellow ball in the sky, but what about the thing that comes out at night? What's that called? Yep, the moon. Yeah, the moon, the moon, the moon. And it comes out at night and that is so good. <laughs> you rock. Okay, well, let's just get on with this book today. Today, I want to read you a book that's so beautiful. It's called City Moon by Rachel Cole. And it's such a wonderful relaxing, chill book. And here's what I want you to do while I read this book to you. See if you can find in the book where the moon appears. Where do you see the moon? All right, here we go. Sit back, relax, and listen to City Moon. In the fall, when leaves are coming down, it gets dark before we go to bed. After dinner, after toothbrushing time, we put on pajamas, then coats and shoes. We take keys and bang the big front door behind us. It's evening, it's night. We are going on a walk to look for the moon. 
We crane our necks up to the sky, but it's hiding. Where is it? Oh, there it is, the moon. We stop and look. But as we walk, it hides again. We see glittery dots in the sky. Mama, are those other moons? They're stars, says Mama. Oh, stars. We turn the corner. Mama, is that another moon? It's the same moon. There is only one moon, says Mama. Oh, the same moon. We wait to cross a street. Is that the moon in the puddle? That's the moon's reflection, Mama tells me. Oh. A reflection. We take a step and it's gone. Where did it go? Busy people walk in shadows. Cars race home. Their lights flash and shine. Fire engines speed and sirens wail. We walk along with them, heads up to the sky. But where is the moon? And there it is, bright and light and round and glowing. We stop and look. Mama, why doesn't everyone look? They're busy, Mama tells me, walking and riding bikes home and cooking dinner and putting children to bed. And it is also time for us to go to bed, she whispers. We walk home and there it is, looking down before it hides behind a cloud. An airplane flies above. Its red and white lights twinkle. The cloud moves and the moon peeks down at us. Oh, we are yawning. We climb the stairs and stand on the stoop. We open up the door and take off coats and shoes. I climb into bed and see the moon. Can we keep the curtain open? Mama says yes and whispers good night. so great you guys are so awesome and this book i'm going to show it to you right here city moon it's such a beautiful book isn't it i just love it it's so cool now tell me where did you see the moon appear yes in the sky that's right above the buildings you saw it in the sky where else did it appear you're so smart that's right you saw it in the puddle when it 
shines and the light hits the puddle, it causes a reflection. And a reflection is like when you look into a mirror, you see yourself. That's a reflection too. And when you look into a puddle, you might see yourself too. That's a reflection. Well, in the book, the little boy saw the moon in the puddle. That's the reflection. Where else did you see the moon? Yes, in the window. You're awesome. Okay, and one more question. What did we see cover up the moon? Yeah, the clouds. The clouds moved in front of the moon and it hid the moon for a little bit, but then they went away and you saw it again. Very good. Wait, whoa, did somebody, did I hear somebody say the curtains? <laughs> yes, the curtains. When the mom was drawing, the curtains closed or open. If you turn, if you push the or pull the curtains closed at night, you'll hide the moon as well. You guys are so awesome. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here's another question. This is a really, really, really interesting question. What shape is the moon? Did somebody say round and like a ball? Oh, 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 oh. Maybe when it's like, you know, like if you had the moon, if you were huge and you had the moon in your hands, like this roll of tape and you had it in your hands, it would look like a big ball. Some people think it looks like a big ball of cheese because it has all these like little craters and holes in it. Well, not real holes, but little bumps on it. But yes, if you had the, the moon in your hands, it would be like a ball or even like this paper plate. It would be like a circle or a ball. But you know what's really interesting? The moon, when we look up at the sky, the moon, it doesn't always look like a circle or a ball, does it? No. Sometimes it will look like, somebody said the other day in, the, in, in our class, they said, it's the shape of a banana. Like, I don't know, can you see, let me see here. How can I make a banana? Oh, what if I just go like this? Sometimes you just see a little part of the moon and then the moon will be really small. <laughs> and then like, sometimes it'll come back and be really big in a big circle. Or even I could do it this way too, watch. Do, 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 getting smaller, the moon's getting smaller, getting smaller. Oh, watch this, now it's getting bigger, getting bigger, bigger, getting bigger, now it's back to the circle. And you know what causes that? crazy 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 now it's caused by it's caused by the earth ca casting i should say a shadow on the moon and the light that's causing this to happen is from the sun so this working hands hand lotion cream will be the sun my head's gonna be the earth so the sun's gonna be right here and it's shining here and it's making the moon nice and bright and white in the sky. But watch what happens when the moon turn, like goes in space and moves and the sun stays there in my head and the moon start to get in front of each other or the moon gets in back of the earth. Look what's happening to the moon. The moon is changing shapes. And look, there's the banana, the banana moon or the crescent moon. Yep, and then the earth will block the sun's rays all together, and then look, the moon's gone, ho ho. But then eventually it will start to come out the other side. And there it is, the moon is full again. Whoa, maybe you should watch this little video I made and see if it makes better sense. You can see all the different shapes the moon makes within a month. Are you ready? Watch this. <laughs> Oh,
out. Thanks for watching. Yeah. So that moon, you saw all the different shapes it makes during a month. Isn't that incredible? I wonder what the moon looks like right now at night. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go outside and look up and see what shape the moon is tonight. That's gonna be really cool. Okay, well now, let's get on with our puppetry lesson today. Now, I made this little moon puppet and I made a little friend for it. They're really fun. Watch this. Here it comes. Here it comes. Looky here. <gasps> It's moving really slowly because it's the moon and it's floating in space. Oh, hello moon, you look like you're asleep. I am asleep. Oh, oh moon, who's your little friend? Oh, oh, you know, oh, my name is Star. I'm Starsky and I'm a star in the sky with the moon. Oh. Wake up, moon. Oh. I don't want to wake up. It's nighttime and I'm sleeping. Oh. Hello again, my friends. So, what you need to make your moon and star puppets are the following. You need, look at this. It's a paper plate. That's right. So you need a white paper plate. Now, if you don't have a paper plate at home, you can always just use a piece of white paper cut into a circle. And look, I even showed you how I drew my moon and my star. You're gonna do the same thing on this white paper plate if you have one. It's kind of nice, the paper plate, because it has texture and it gives the moon a little bit of texture on the edges, which I really like. But it's okay if you don't have a paper plate, you can just use a white piece of paper. Awesome. So you need one paper plate, to make both your star and your moon. You can make them together on the same plate. You need some colorful markers to color your moon and your star. You need some scissors to cut out your moon and star. You need some tape. And why you need that tape? Look, I have two types of tape here. I have this tape from my garage, it's painter's tape. You need tape because you're gonna tape on a piece of string or ribbon. You can tape that on the back of your star to make a little holder. Look, you could even hang it on your holiday tree or in your window. Or, or also, you can tape a piece of string to the back of your moon so you can hang it in the window as well. Cool. Awesome. Well, let's get to work. Let's make our puppet. All right. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab a marker or a pen or a pencil and you're going to draw the shape of the moon now i like to do i like to make my moons look kind of like a banana <laughs> this is a crescent moon it's part of the moon so the earth is making a shadow over here i also put a nose on my moon because i think it makes it more, more like a puppet and i gave it eyes and a mouth too because people always say there's like a person in the moon if you look up maybe you see a face in the moon so i want to teach you how to draw this style of face like this now you want to leave some room over here because you're going to put your star over here. So you want to use this part. And this is how I do it. I just make a little dot right here. And then another dot on the other side, like that. Yeah, you see those two dots? Now watch this. I'm going to draw my nose like a C or a backward C right in the middle of my paper plate. Now check it out, we have that C that we made. Now watch this, I want you to draw a C, the other way, a proper way, from here to the top of the nose. So go like this, draw your C, a big C from the top dot to the nose, and then look, you're gonna do the same thing from the bottom of the nose to your bottom dot. So draw your big letter C like that, and look, you got a moon. Now we're going to draw a star. Stars are fun to draw, and I like stars that are imperfect. So what you're going to do is take and draw part, so the side of a triangle and another side of a triangle. So you're drawing part of a triangle. And then look, you're going to draw another triangle right next to that, like that. And then draw another one on the other side to match it, like that. And then look at this. We have to draw two more. So come down here and draw another triangle. 
And then draw one more triangle to connect your star. Yeah! Good job. Now, before we cut out our moon and star, you're going to choose what color you want to make your moon and star. I think I'm going to make my moon today orange, like a harvest moon in the fall. And I'm going to make my star pink. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to get coloring. Here we go. Awesome. Now you've got your star and your moon colored in. I'm going to add a face to my moon and my star. So I'm going to draw, I want to draw an eye right here for my moon. I'm going to put one eye on my moon. So it's kind of looking at you from the side. Let's see. I'm just going to draw a little dot to start off. <laughs> Look at this guy. And then let's see. I want to just sort of, I'm going to just make like a little little circle around it and then I'm gonna fill it in a little bit oh that's better look at my little moon eye and then I'm gonna draw like a nice smiling moon yeah look how happy my moon is he's really kind of funny he's he's got a big nose I like it and then I'm gonna draw a cute little face on my star doot, doot. and then I'm gonna draw a little mouth Whee! and then maybe little cheeks <laughs> and now check it out. I like to add a little uh, black rim over here on the side of my moon to make it stick out a little bit. So I just draw, like take my black marker and I'm just gonna draw a little line around the edge of my plate to kind of make my orange moon stick out a little bit. Very cool. I like when the, the moon gets really orange and the usually happens in the fall. It's called a harvest moon when you're trying to harvest in the fields and the crops. Beautiful. All right, now it's time to cut out our moon. Beautiful. Now the last order of business that we need to do to make our star, our star and our moon into puppets is let's grab some string. Here's two pieces of string. These are really colorful strings. Turn your puppets over. Take a little piece of tape. And this is what I do so I can hang it on something. I just make a little loopy loop like this. So I make a little curly cue. So it, it's got a little place to hook things, the string. And then I'm gonna just put a piece of tape over both of those. <gasps> Ta-da, look, I can hang, I can hang my star on something like my, like a tree or a plant or in my window. And then look, I'm gonna hang my moon Sorry, I'm going to put a piece of string at the top of my moon, just like I did on my star, so I can hang my moon somewhere. Ready? Here we go. Awesome. There it is. Look, I can hang my moon now and my star together. Good job, everybody. You guys are amazing. Woohoo! Woo Here, I'll do a little puppet show for you. Here comes the moon, doo -doo -doo -doo. here comes the moon, I say, it's all right. Boo -doo -bee -dee -doo -bee -dee -doo -bee -dee -doo -bee -dee doo 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 Here comes the star, dee 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 dee. Here comes the star, I'm the star. Doo -bee -doo -bee. it's all right. Boo doo ba da doo ba da doo 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 amazing to hang out with you once again. I love being here with you guys. You're incredible. Make sure you look up at the moon tonight if you can see it. It's a little cloudy today because there's been a really big snowstorm, but I bet it'll clear up eventually. And then when it does, look out your window or if you have to go outside and take a walk down the street, see if you can see the moon if it's not blocked by any buildings. And what, you know, share with somebody. Say, hey mom, hey dad, hey grown up, hey big brother, hey little sister, look at the moon, isn't it cool? Awesome. But well, you guys are amazing. As always, stay happy, 
safe and healthy, and I will see you again very soon. Yay! All right. See you later. Whoop!